this was a pretty decent end to the trilogy, if it is the end, because everybody knows that Devil's Rejects looked like it was going to be the end of the series, with all three of them getting shot the shit out of in the car, but in this movie, they're all alive and well, when... It literally said that each of them had a one in a million chance to survive because of all the wounds. But yeah, all three of them in a one in a million. Makes sense. Of course, the actor that played Captain Spaulding, um, he was sick, so he was reduced to a much smaller role. He was supposed to have a big role. So, you know, he got replaced by some other Rob Zombie dude. He played Doomhead in 31, which I watched that movie years ago. I tried to rewatch it a few months ago. I just couldn't. They have like this short dude that plays Hitler, dresses up like Hitler, and the main characters have like Confederate flags and there's like a slur dropped a few minutes in. So it just not seemed like my type of movie. Rob Zombie movies aren't Exactly my type of movies, but I have liked this series a little bit in some ways. It's just, you know, a very different movie. It's something you have to watch. So Captain Spaulding gets killed off in this movie. They don't explain why. Obviously because the actor was sick in real life, so he couldn't have a big role. He gets, you know, the lethal injection, the death sentence in this movie. But... Baby and Otis don't. They don't explain why. They they just get to rot in prison. Until, you know, Otis escapes. And then half the movie. A good portion of it. Not half. Because this movie's almost two hours long. I think it was like 20, 25 minutes. Is them trying to get Baby out. It's not exactly about that. But we see Baby in prison a little bit. And then eventually Otis is like, oh yeah, we should break her out. Because he remembers he has a sister, finally. We got some characters that were kind of developed. Then they get killed, and we find out one of them was a cheater. So, cool for that, I guess. There's like two slurs dropped in this movie. Which is expected of a Rob Zombie film. The D slur is used by Baby and Otis uses the F slur. Otis is also hinted at being a rapist. Even though we know he already is one in from the second movie. Um, Rob Zombie does his typical thing that he does in movies where he thinks he needs dad fuck in every sentence. Like, cool. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Like, when Otis says something. I don't even remember his name. I thought the actor was good, but I don't remember his name in the movie. Winslow Foxworth Foxy. He didn't add much to the movie. The actor did a good portrayal. He just really didn't add much. I Could have just been Baby and Otis. There was nothing wrong with him. Just didn't add much. But, you know, they obviously had to have their three from hell title, I guess. Um, there's also a scene where they just kill a random clown. <laughs> I guess they got the wrong house or something. And he was supposed to go to a birthday party or something. And once he kills him, he's like, I hate clowns. Which is ironic, because, you know, Captain Spaulding, they had to have done that on purpose. I only get Captain Spaulding mentioned near the end about how he died and how Baby's trying to cope with it. And they actually mention the fact that, you know, half the people from the first movie, Thousand Corpses, aren't in the series anymore. It just became Baby and Otis and Captain Spaulding. Until the actor said, hey, you got too sick, so he couldn't return, so now it's just them. 
They actually give them a happy ending for whatever reason. These terrible, terrible people that almost died in the first movie. And they make like the second half of the movie this big revenge plot. Because Danny Trejo returns. He was a minor character in the second movie with the wrestler DDP who does not return. And that was apparently because he didn't fit into this movie in Rob Zombie's vision. So, fuck him, I guess. So, Danny Trejo gets killed pretty early on, and that leads to, like, the second half of the movie, because Baby thinks nobody will know us in Mexico, so they go to Mexico, and of course, someone recognizes them. And all three of them thought it was a good idea for some reason. So, they all go there. Obviously, they get caught, and they kill the son that just wanted to avenge Danny Trejo in the movie ends. It's, it's a very different movie. It was decent. There's also, I think it was kind of racist. There was like this Mexican lady that gets called My Little Taco, and that was just very uncomfortable it came from. Winslow's character. But yeah, I guess that's about it. I hope it's the end of the series unless the fourth movie finally kills them off. That is the only way I would want this series to keep going. Is for them to finally be killed.